American Horror Story just ain't what it used to be. And on its 12th season, how do they get their dwindling audience back? How do they make American Horror Story relevant again? Kim Kardashian! This is Matt Rogers and join me as we take a look at why casting Kim Kardashian was a marketing necessity and what's in store for us in this season of American Horror Story, Delicate. In a time when the series is at its absolute worst, with seasons either terribly written, just plain boring, or like what we got in season 11's New York City, boring in the lead up to it being terribly written. NYC was a season that took itself really seriously, covering very serious real life events, and the killer's name was Big Daddy. Pick a tone, and I won't even say what I think about the spin off American Horror Stories. All you gotta do is say no homo after you do something, and then you're cool. Yeah, I don't know guys. But now we are getting back one of Ryan Murphy's original Scream Queens, Emma Roberts. That's a step in the right direction. Then Cara Delvine is joining the series, questionable but I wouldn't say bad necessarily. But adding Kim Kardashian, that's an intentionally unserious choice. But you can't argue it'll get clicks and morbidly curious eyes watching on premiere night. I've said for some time now that I believe the show needs to return to the campy yet well-written vibe that they had back in season 3's Coven, which Emma Roberts did have a standout role in as Madison Montgomery. But is a little bit of nostalgia and a lot of pop culture relevance enough pieces to put this delicate series back together? Let's just hope the real horror story isn't Kardashian's acting. Naomi, we're running a business here. Whenever you're on Who Wore It Best, I vote for the other girl. Oh. Lover or hater, Kim Kardashian is far from being known for her acting. I took a look at her IMDb and it's 99% cameos of her playing herself with the rare exception of guest starring roles, including 90210 and Drop Dead Diva. Like what is this? You actually went through with the half pie, half cake idea? That was a joke. Well, the joke is on you because I'm a big success and you're wearing orange polyester. Just fantastic. The cynical side of me really wants Kardashian's acting to be as stiff as this. Horror Story might find a new audience in it becoming ironically entertaining. But the opposite could also be entertaining. What if Kim got an amazing acting coach in recent years and became a scream queen in her own right? I'm very ready and willing to be wrong if Kardashian becomes a dark horse in acting like Gaga was in Hotel. No, I'm sorry, there's just no way. So if it's good, it's good. And if it's bad, it's good. But the issue there lies in the grey area. The way the season can go wrong is by it not being that good or not being that bad either. A forgettable season that leaves us without anything to discuss, speculate, reference or quote. Again, I want to be wrong, but that's where my money is. This casting choice is a double-edged sword though. It of course will have some critics of Kardashian become less likely to watch a season they were otherwise going to watch. On the other hand, there's an unintentional perk also. We are all familiar with the current writer's strike which has resulted in actors now not being able to promote their projects at all until the guilds come to an agreement with the studios. So whilst the strike is ongoing, having an A-list celebrity who isn't known for her acting join a TV show helps this season to sell itself. The trailers get shared like crazy on social media plus it releases over Halloween and therefore the three leading ladies don't need to do a spot of press. Horror Story has already lost almost every single one of its original cast from the golden era of the show. No more Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters or Jessica Lang. Lang whose departure set in motion the departure of quality that we came to expect in seasons 1 through 4. But here we are 7 seasons later and this show needs new fans to start watching or old fans to resume watching. But what would this season be without its premise? AHS 12 will reportedly be based on the Danielle Valentine novel, Delicate Condition. The official synopsis for the book says, quote, Anna Alcott is desperate to have a family, but as she tries to balance her increasingly public life as an indie actress with a gruelling IVF journey, she starts to suspect that someone is going to great lengths to make sure that never happens. Crucial medicines are lost, appointments are swapped without her knowledge, cryptic warnings have her jumping at shadows, and despite everything she's gone through to make this pregnancy a reality, not even even her husband is willing to believe that someone is playing twisted games with her." End quote. The posters for this season also seem to confirm this premise by having Roberts and Kardashian each standing in the grip of a spider with its abdomen representing a pregnant stomach. 
Cara Delvine, meanwhile, is seen with said spider in a syringe, assumed to be the malevolent force responsible for these metaphorical spider babies. Though please let it not be a repeat of Season 10's Death Valley with the nonsensical alien impregnation of every character on the show. Considering the promos and the novel's synopsis, my prediction is Delvine's character will sabotage Roberts and Kardashian's pregnancies, then proceed to give them an insidious offer they can't refuse. I guess we'll find out when AHS Delicate premieres on September 20th. But in the meantime, will you be watching Kim Kardashian in American Horror Story? Have you been watching the recent seasons? I'd love to know what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. You can also see what I'm watching by following me on TikTok, Twitter, and Letterboxd, which are all linked in the description. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering the best and worst of movies, television, and pop culture. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.